Hey everyone, Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page four of Sonora. And I've got my pieces laid out. These are going, these are coming from the 12 by 12, they're cut aparts, and they're gonna be the two covers of the flaps. And the flaps are six and one eighth by six and five eighths. And I made them that size just so I wouldn't have to cut down these cut aparts. They're six by six coming right out of the package. So there you are. So that is what I'm gonna do. So these flaps are gonna get mounted to the top and the bottom and they're gonna be centered. So let's go ahead and mark our center line here. Right at zero. Or if you don't have um, the Tim Holtz ruler, you're gonna mark it at four inches. These panels are just over six inches, so it's gonna be uh, three and maybe one sixteenth. Very close. Okay, let's go ahead and install the bottom one. I'm just lining up those two marks I just created. There we go. We'll flip it around. Do the same thing here. Have done this on both but I'm gonna dry fit it real quick and see actually I think I need to cut it down a little yep that's too big so let me cut that down and now I'm backing off and saying probably needs to be six and a sixteenth Sixteenth. I'm sorry. Get that out of the way so you can see it. I think that looks much better. So that's good. That means this one needs to be trimmed down. So I'm gonna use my spatula and see if I can't lift it. And if not, then I'm gonna get out my undo. And because I haven't burnished it, it's coming up nicely for me. There we go. Easy peasy. I'm going to cut this down to match. And this is just to keep it from sticking to my cutting board. Okay, let's test this. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, back to installing my flaps. go. Top and the bottom. I'm going to put down one corner. There we go. And then, oh, look how far off that is. So something's wrong. I'm gonna straighten that out. What did I do wrong? Oh, that looks off. Let me get my ruler back out. Four. Oh, it's way off. <laughs> that line is way off. I don't know how I was so far off. That that should line up, and that looks about like what I was off. So the reason I'm putting one corner down was, number one, to find issues like that, but also I, I just want to line these two panels up so they're lined up nice and neat. Okay, that's right side up. And I can't remember, I think I'm doing this. Yeah, and I kind of like it because the, the peppers cascade down. So that means I want a magnet behind here and one on here. Those 
those are stuck together. Good. Okay, let's start decorating. I'm just gonna put this under here so I can see the edge. down here. That is the closed position. I just think that looks pretty cool. I've got these two uh, strips. They're one inch wide and they're gonna go on either edge. I think it adds a little bling bling and this pattern's way too busy to be, you know, on its own. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. We're gonna put a one inch strip on either side. And just, it needs to be trimmed down a little bit so that the flaps will close. I got a messy space. It makes it hard for me to think. Okay, so this is ready. looks nice I like it okay we're gonna do the other side I just want to make sure my pattern is continuing and it is so I'm going to trim off this edge Okay, so now um, what I have is I've got a pocket that's going to go here, and I want to check and make sure everything is going to close, and it is. Okay, so this pocket is let's see, two. having a hard time seeing for some reason. So it's moving a half inch. It's two and five eighths. Two and five eighths by seven. Two and five eighths by seven. So it's just going to fit right inside here. It doesn't go across the whole thing. Two and five eighths by seven. You're going to score half inch on three sides to create the pocket. And I failed to mention it, but these came from the 12 by 12, as did these. Okay. 
Now I want it to be close to the um, score line. Sorry, Nala's hair, it's always, it's ever present, uh, but not on top of it so that the flap will function. So I'm just going very close, but not over it. Okay, there we go. Um, this also came from the 12 by 12 and I um, created uh, two six by eight panels and then split them so that I have a pocket and a backdrop for my pocket. Pocket and a pocket liner. And I was gonna go this way, yeah. There we go. Actually, hmm, I'm off. Oh, that's not good. So I just noticed that I'm off by about, what am I off by? Sorry, I'm having a hard time placing this and, and talking. Looks like by about um, a sixteenth of an inch. So I have this really thick uh, trim here and I might actually try to put a sliver down there. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. So that means that this pocket should have been two, two and a half not to two and five eighths, two and a half, not to two. But it really depends on how thick you cut this strip. And I wanted it to be relatively shallow. So you can offset that by just making your pocket an eighth inch deeper or just make it a little bit shallower, however you choose. But this was, these two pieces combined were eight inches to start with. So then you can decide, and it's too thick to go that way. I want it to slip into the pocket, so I need to trim it down just a bit. So now normally when I color block, I would have black on either end, but I really messed this up. I think I might lift this and start over with this design, but stick with this. I'm gonna make it a little bit narrower because I want those two black lines to pop out. And I think I am gonna lift this. And if I can't get the paper off without tearing it, I don't really care if I tear it because I'm gonna cover the pocket, but um, if I tear the pocket, I'm gonna re, uh, reinstall a new pocket after I undo it. And so far it's it's releasing for me, so I may just be able to cut a new pocket piece. And as usual, I'm gonna, you know, show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. This is, you know, what happens when you make a mistake, right? And we all make them. It's, maybe not. I was gonna say, I think I might be able to salvage the pocket. It's not, not yet obvious. Sure. Depends on if this will lift. So far, really, all I'm mostly tearing is the um, designer paper, not the black cardstock. So the real question is, can I get this off and still have a, a decent-looking border around it? It looks like I can so far. Because all it has to be is a sixteenth of an inch, not torn. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm reasonably happy with that. I think uh, when I'm done, I'm going to pull it up close so you guys can see what it looks like after, after all this fussing. Okay, I think I'm going to be able to cover it. Okay, so let's get a precise measurement here. So this is two... 
two and one eighth. Two and one eighth is what I need to cover. So this was two and five eighths. And just to keep things simple, I'm gonna decorate what I have, but just do two and a half. Save yourself the headache like I just created for myself. I always try to work in a quarter inch or larger. I hate eight inches, they're just too hard to remember. Okay, so this needs to be trimmed down a little bit more. Okay, let's test it and see if we're gonna get those black. I even want more, okay. Mm. Let's try this. Yeah, that looks like my my typical color blocking. So whatever this is, I think I probably want to try to follow that line down to the pocket. Okay, that looks pretty good. I see I see my error. I made the pocket wider than the color blocking. It's still gonna be fine, but that's what's throwing me for a loop. So I wanna go ahead and get this down and then find something to cover the pocket. We have a pocket, we'll have to put something in it. So I have this, which is kind of boring. Let's see. The other thing we could do is, it's, it's harder for me to do a border strip because I've got this mess here, so it's really hard to, pretty much impossible to color block. I'm looking for a suitable pattern. Oh, I know this. We're gonna do this. Cool. Okay. There we go. Back on track, guys. Back on track. averted. I'm going to have to take a break pretty soon because I keep dropping things. That's usually an indicator. It's time for a break. That and the fact that I can hardly see my surface. I'm going to put the full square on the top. Beautiful, okay. Now we still need to do the B side, top and bottom. Oops, it's gonna go this way. Now I pulled in these two boring pieces. And we're gonna use them. We're gonna do a little bit of color blocking here and here. So I'm gonna put these on the top and bottom and then I'm gonna find a strip to fit here in the middle. And I might use that again. More this. Because it's so busy, I don't think I want to introduce yet another pattern. Yeah, I definitely want to put it on the outside of the flap or the edge of the flap, not the hinge. OK, 
Okay, and that gives us very nice coverage over our magnet too, which is always a good thing. Now, this one, and this is why I wanted it on the edge because I didn't want it on top of this. hesitation is <laughs> I've cut through let's see does this line up no so I don't care for this so that's this is a maybe let's try this pattern see what we think Oof, that's too much definitely not that do we have a solid blue that would work I'm looking at the back side of my scraps to see if I've got a blue that'll work. I'm not crazy about either one of those. Huh. I could have sworn I had a blue, that one of these was a blue background. Ooh. I, I think these two colors go together really well, but can't put those next to that. We have this color. Here's that blue. So that's what I'm going to do the blue. So it needs to be six by I think six by two, but I'm going to make it six by two. Blue and one blue. Two and a quarter. Okay, and then I'm just gonna uh, mark it as and hand cut or trim it to fit. So I just need to cut these down to fit. wound up being two inches. You can always cut more, can't add it back on. I'm 
little more. Here's more. Okay, there we go. Ta-da! So what do we need to do now? We need to make an insert. Is that snapping shut? I want it to. It seems to. I can't seem to get it open now. <laughs> oh, that's not good. an insert. So this insert is going to be five by seven. Just because that's what's going to fit there well. Okay, so here's our five by seven insert. There. Okay, so What do I have to cover that with? Kind of like this. But I don't know if I've got enough of this. Maybe I should just do... Okay, so I trimmed this out, so I'm going to put it up here as like a header, and then I'm going to find something else to go down here. So, let's make sure it's going to fit. Looks like I got it measured good. So then I need five, it looks like I'm going to need five and one eighth, I think. So let's, let's measure and um, trim it to fit. That's too small, so I'm looking for some of my smaller pieces. These are all four, so they're going to be too small. Okay, 
and then I'm going to trim up from or trim down so that we keep these two bottles. Voila, I like it. Oh, that's in Crooked, I hate that. Well, it is what it is, I'm not gonna remake my insert. I can see it plainly now. It's also another indicator that it's time to take a break. go let's put it all together I may do something on the back it really depends how much paper I've got left toward the end there's a little bit of glue on the bottom so I think that looks pretty cool there we go that's page four now page five is gonna have the same flaps and same pocket but I'll be back later to help uh, construct that but it's gonna be the same size flaps and the same internal pocket and um, but it'll have different uh, cutouts. So this is gonna be page five. Okay, I'll be back soon, guys.